hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm finally with a new video because it's been a little while if you are new here welcome my name's natsaline so this video is going to be an ultimate guide to get yourself into the gym i'm just going to show the tips and the things that have really helped me to be motivated to be really strict with my routine and to actually make me feel confident to be in there because i know the gym can be really intimidating it can be really scary at times these are the things that have helped me throughout all these years of going and i want to share it with you guys if you stick right to the end you're going to be able to see one of my favorite workouts that i like to do during the week the hardest thing about gym is not the actual workout it's actually getting yourself to the gym that is the hardest part when you're inside your bed and you're like oh i don't want to go to the gym it's cold that is the hardest part the minute you get into the gym you feel fine and you're all ready to go these are the tips that i would suggest and will help you guys to get there a lot quicker and not let two days go by a week go by a year go by and still paying for that membership no a lot of people do that that get a membership and they're like yeah i'm gonna go to the gym and months go by and you still don't go and you're paying for that so this is gonna help for you to actually take advantage of that membership the first thing i want to talk about is the purpose of going to the gym so we all have different purposes different goals so i would always suggest to really know exactly why you're going to the gym it could be for mental strength it could be to lose weight to gain it really depends on what you want the results to be and really understand and know exactly what you want and why you're going to the gym me personally i've always had an insecurity a really bad one actually when i was younger that i was really slim and i just have a really fast metabolism and i always struggle to have a bit of mass i always look like a child because my body wasn't developed and i just couldn't gain weight the minute i found out that by going to the gym you can actually gain the mass and grow in muscle that really motivated me to get in there and to be honest the minute i got in there and i saw results that's when I was just like, oh my god, is this really me? And ever since, I've not looked back. Gym is like a journey. It's not always going to be like high up, you know, having the best like, you know, energy. Because as a woman, we all have periods. We all have these days where you don't want to do anything and you feel a little bit upset or you want to have a cry or want to have like a binge eat. So I get the fact that we all have, you know, moments where we're just not on it. So when you feel right, go another thing i want to talk about is your routines you might get bored of doing the same thing over and over again always try and find something that makes you feel happy i really enjoyed skipping so when you skip it's actually quite fun you feel like a little child but you know that you're burning them calories instead of you know running on a treadmill so always kind of know or kind of find out new exercises new routine that make you feel good because you just don't want to be doing something boring because you're just going to stop and that's how it works progress progress is so important if you don't see your progress you're just not going to be motivated to keep on going so one of the things that i like to do is take pictures it doesn't matter what you're wearing where you are make sure you have a track of images that when you started when you felt your lowest and keep on taking pictures on a regular basis especially when you want to you know see results the only way you're going to see them if you look back at that picture and you're like oh my god that's how much i've lost and that just really keeps that momentum going so that's one of the things that really motivate me comparing pictures from before and after or even if you lose track and you was looking good in that first picture that's going to motivate you because you're like, oh, that was me. I'm going to go again. So that's one of the things that really, really help. Set yourself targets each week. It could be a small little target. For example, what I like to do is I like to keep track of what I lift. So let's say I lift 5 kg and the next week my target is to add a 2.5 kg. And each week to keep on going, it could be to add an extra set or add an extra rep 
on a workout that you're doing so just keep these little targets going on because if you don't really put a target on you're going to be doing the same workout every single week plan your workouts it doesn't have to be the same every single day i like to have different days for different parts of the body i go gym five times a week and i separate every day for a different muscle of the body so that is my plan people can do different ways of doing it but for me it works so much better when i know a certain day is for a certain part of the body so on mondays i like to do glutes tuesdays i like to do legs wednesdays is upper body and abs thursdays i do glutes again friday i do legs but i, I concentrate legs on machines so organize your workouts and tailor it to how you feel comfortable gym gear is probably one of my favorite things that actually motivate me the reason why i say that is because when i look good i feel good and when i have a cute little outfit on and I, it just makes me feel like i'm ready to smash my workout when i have the wrong leggings on it just demotivates me i can't see my pump so i recommend the sheeting leggings these are the ones that i usually get they have loads of different color ranges the scrunch in the back is amazing i also love the tahira kb her leggings are really comfortable the scrunch on the back makes your bum look huge and there's so many to choose from they are from the us so they might take a little bit longer to arrive but so worth it also i love the ones from do you even oh my god i've washed these over a hundred times i've had them for about three years and the quality has not been destroyed so i highly recommend these last but not least obviously it has to be gymshark it is an investment they are on the pricey range but the ones that i personally love they are called seamless and they have a small scrunch on the back the quality the way it fits it is amazing so these are the ones i love from them so if you do want to invest in good quality and that will last you a lifetime definitely go to gymshark equipment equipment for the gym has changed everything for me this makes gym so much easier without feeling pain because i know gym actually hurt sometimes when you're lifting certain weights and your hands scratch and this part of your hand just goes really like dense and burny i'm gonna link all the equipment in my description so you girls can purchase i love weightlifting hooks it is like a strap that has a hook on your hand that doesn't cause that you know burning sensation and it holds your wrist really nice and tightly so you know sometimes when you lift the bar and your wrist actually hurts because you're straining it i actually recently bought these and i did share it on my instagram and i made everyone know how amazing these are even when you squat or you deadlift you're always so scared about your back i know everyone think even me i'm like thinking about oh my god would i break my back or oh my god am i gonna pull a muscle but having a belt actually helps you just keep you nice and tight that core is going to be really really strong so for you to be able to actually lift things headphones headphones is so important girl when you have the wrong headphones you have little tiny ones even the stringed ones it can be so annoying sometimes when you're trying to lift and they fall out they distract you they just it's a big distraction i have discovered that when you have headphones that are going over your head so i use my beat headphones they are really big they cover my whole ear and when i'm working out they just don't move they don't jiggle they just stay put on my head and i 100% prefer them to having earphones that go into the ear um so that is one of the things as well getting really good headphones that are quite loud that keeps you in your zone perfect playlist to motivate you in the gym we all like different genres of music but i've always felt like upbeat music any genre but that keeps that momentum going i love edm electronic music because it has such an upbeat even to like select certain songs i don't have a massive playlist i honestly have like three songs that are so upbeat it gives even just listening to it it just makes me like want to run just figuring out 
a song or a playlist that pushes you and motivates you to actually keep on going i wouldn't suggest you to actually listen to like you know slow jams or you know slow music because it's gonna music really impacts the way you're feeling so if you're listening to slow jams it's not gonna motivate you girl you're just gonna want to go home and go to sleep and now if you made it into this part of the video i'm gonna show you one of my favorite leg workouts that i do during the week so i like to first start with squatting squats really help with toning your legs really keeping that core nice and tight so i like to just keep adding weight each time i do a set it really depends on what you feel comfortable with but that is what i like to do i'll put all the sets and reps in the corner of the screen then i like to move on to rdls as you can see i like to keep my back really nice and tight with a really good posture as i'm going down and keeping the legs slightly bent so i can feel that stretch on your hamstring even here you can see the back is completely straight and i'm trying to control as i go down then i go on to doing a trap bar deadlift i do kind of fast movements on this one just to give a quick pump on the legs if you have this in your gym make sure to try it you will absolutely feel it on your legs immediately with weight you can actually choose what feels comfortable again i don't go as heavy then i do a single leg box lunge i get a box and lightweight this is all about balance so keep your balance nice and still to do a really deep lunge lastly i do a single leg deadlift and i love this because it really targets my hamstrings i get the dumbbell on the opposite hand of the leg that i'm doing i hold myself onto the wall just to get some balance and make sure you keep your back really nice and straight you don't want to hunch back because it will go on your lower back so keep that movement and oh my god this is probably one of my favorite hamstring exercises to really tone the back of your legs so girls this is the end of the video i really hope this gave you a little bit of motivation to get that summer body and i will see you on my next one bye